Hello everybody and welcome back to Forest River. As you can see here, we are out picking up bales. I picked up one load so far, um, just to see uh, how everything was going to go. And it is snowing, so we're uh, definitely trying to rush and get this... Uh, all hauled off before this snow really starts collecting. Um, another thing that we are going to do as well is we have got to get a snowblower. Um, we need to get, get one ready. Um, we... We could probably move snow with just the skid steer, but it would take hours upon hours to do. So a snowblower would help, and then we can use the skid steer in some of kind of the smaller areas. Have you guys kind of noticed some jerkier movements? Uh, I did. <clears throat> um, set up. I have an Xbox controller for PC uh, and I did set it up. Uh, it's not really set up for a whole lot. It's mainly just set up for driving. Um, but oh, it is uh, something. So I'm trying to kind of get used to it. I think I've used it once for farm sim before, so. <clears throat> I mainly use it for like American Truck Simulator, things like that, but. And another reason I want to get all of this done is I would like to uh, be done so that um, we're supposed to meet um, our new neighbor for lunch today. So I would like to uh, try and get this done. So that way we can uh, meet up with them. But I did give him a call this morning and kind of give him a heads up, you know, saying, hey, I got bales to haul. Um, and, I mean, it's starting to snow, so uh, I'm going to try and get done by noon, but if I don't then, uh, you know, let's just reschedule for, oh, excuse me, uh, for a little later in the day. And, uh, he's fine with that, he understands, so. Hopefully, the uh, temperature definitely has dropped uh, very quick. Uh, it was just yesterday, I mean, it was like 80 degrees and sunny, and now here we are, it's 28 degrees and it's snowing.
So I think uh, after we get all of our bales hauled and uh, we drop this trailer back off, we'll uh, head down to the dealership and uh, see if we can't get ourselves a snowblower. get now we might just buy the snowblower outright wow 25,000 for that load I think the price must have went up because I only got like 18,000 for my last load but uh, so we might buy it outright uh, just kind of going to depend on what the price is of it, but otherwise we'll, uh, we'll test out the dealership's new leasing program with that to start with. Uh, I do have him kind of keeping an eye out for a decent truck and kind of smaller trailer. Um, for us. He is also going to keep an eye out for a uh, drive over uh, belt for it. Cause, or for our auger, I should say. Because our current auger is not quite going to work. Uh, he did say, too, if he finds a reasonably priced auger, he'll let us know. Because I did say that too that if he finds a you know semi decently priced auger I would uh, I would look into trading that in too so we will see uh, what he can come up with but for the moment that's kind of what it is I told him if uh, he doesn't find a good auger I'm going to need a conveyor because our auger is just way too big to try and unload out of the bins uh, in our yard. It's just way too big. So he is uh, going to see what he can do for us. more bales over there and then that's all of this field oh that's right forgot that that bale was a little smaller um, let's see I need my super strength on I'm just going to set this one off to the side. Actually, we're just going to run it over there and just get rid of it right away. As I completely forgot to change the bale size when I first started baling, and I didn't realize that I was on the 125 bales. There we go. And then I made a bale and discovered that so I had to uh, change that after I'd already made one bale but at least on the bright side these uh, three cornfields are I mean right there by the co-op so I'll uh, help 
with things a little bit there. loaded up. It's ridiculous. I tried to do it without hitting that bale, but I guess it had other ideas. This tractor, or this trailer, definitely uh, makes this job so much easier versus uh, having to sit and manually load them one by one. Well, I guess we are still loading them one by one, but having to load them one by one with a uh, loader. another full load. We do got some weeds coming up already again, but we're not going to uh, be doing any spraying anymore or anything like that now that uh, it is December and we're getting snow. But at the rate that we're going, we might uh, might just make it in time for lunch. So that'll work out good. Twenty-six, seven thousand, something like that. So one more load will put us over, just over two hundred thousand. So we're definitely uh, getting up there, and we've only got uh, one more month until we start uh, selling crops. So that uh, that also will help us out. rest of, I think we should be able to get the rest of the bales off of this field. And we're 
we're doing pretty good for time. It's only 9.30, so we should have no problems making it, uh, getting all this done, getting the trailer taken back, and picking up a snowblower uh, all before noon. Not turn sharp enough for that bale. I wish we could afford a trailer like this for uh, whenever we get into cows, but I know that that's uh, not quite going to be in our cards just yet. Someday down the road it will be, but for right now we'll, uh, we'll have to make do with some other kind of trailer. We could potentially get a auto load trailer. It just uh, won't hold as many bales as this one, or um, or be quite as nice as this trailer is. It'll be older, but. I'm sure it'll still get the job done. And once we do get back with uh, the snowblower, we will have to pull this in the heated shop and get uh, the duels taken off of it for the winter. bail. Perfect. Worked out pretty good. As uh, does the fact that we are right here. That really helps a lot too. Let's try this one a little differently here. I think we can, yeah, we can just flip around back here and, oh, except to uh, turn a little, little bit sharper there next time, so we don't nail that haystack. <laughs> Whoops. Hundred, perfect. So yeah, it's about twenty, just shy of twenty-eight thousand a load that we're getting between uh, the sell, the sale, and the uh, environmental award or reward, whatever they call it. 
Hopefully we don't take too much longer because this tractor is getting close to its uh, service point. So I'd like to get it back to the farm before we hit that point. So that way when we pull it in to swap out the duels, or to pull the duels off, I should say, uh, then we can get the uh, oil change done right away as well and uh, get everything done in one go. I think after this one, we only have about one more full load, I think. And then a partial load, I'm not sure. Or maybe we got two full loads over there. I'm not 100% sure how many bales exactly are down in that field there, so... Yeah, we caught a tree. So we got room for three more. We'll have to run back over. Yeah, we might have another full load and then a partial sitting here. Maybe even a majority of a load. See if we can uh, make this loop this time without nailing the bale on the end.
And there's another 25,000. 27, I guess. getting down there on fuel in this tractor as well. Let's see here as we drive by. I think I can buy fuel here at the co-op. I'm not positive though. Yes I can. Okay. So that's good to know if we need it, but I think we should be fine for a while yet because uh, we do still have do still have a fair amount of fuel in our transfer tank in our pickup so should be enough to uh, get us by for a while yet probably should have taken the duels off before picking bales with this tractor Probably would have made life a little bit easier. Yeah, we aren't going to be able to make that turn. I think we'll have a decent amount of uh, bales on the last load yet. Okay, let's go get this load hauled in. And there's just one more and we are done. I'll take a peek at uh, what we made off of it.
That one went down a little bit. Now we're down to 24,998, but still about 27,000, so. Not doing too shabby at all. I think we'll probably end with about 270-ish, depending on how many are left over there. I didn't really pay super close attention, so not really sure how many bales there are. There's still a few out there, so... So, not quite a half a load, but still a decent amount. So, we'll probably get another, I would say, probably another 10 grand we'll get. That's all of them. Then uh, after this episode, we'll probably be in January and uh, be hauling things out. So that'll probably be our uh, next task here. Actually, our next task will probably be moving snow. to uh, dig out the yard so so we'll see what we get for this load and then we'll see what we made overall I'm guessing a couple of hundred thousand uh, yeah at least two hundred thousand yep uh, ten just about ten and a half so we'll go in here to our bank um, sold bales. Oh, okay. 147,906. So not quite as much as I thought, I guess. But, uh, still a pretty decent chunk of change. So had we not, uh, done this, we would have missed out on almost $150,000. Uh, I guess now thinking of it. Um, miscellaneous. So... In uh, environmental bonus, we got an extra $17,263. So that's uh, about close to 170000 that uh, we would have missed out on if we would have just left it, left the straw lay in the field. So uh, definitely not uh, not a bad not a bad deal whatsoever
run this into the yard and get it, uh, actually, we can't really wash it. This thing's going to freeze. So we are going to have to take it back dirty, which uh, is okay because, like I mentioned, it can't really get washed. Otherwise, uh, it'll freeze solid. And I know uh, Tom here had talked about needing to uh, haul a couple loads at some point before winter full on set in. So we don't want to freeze it up for him. All right, let's go down to the dealership here and uh, get us a snowblower before we are completely snowed in here. And, uh, okay, we're at 37 right now, so video's uh, all right length. We are just gonna go down there and buy one or get one however we go about it Definitely need to uh, clean this tractor up, which on the bright side for us, this tractor is going in the heated shop, so um, I mean, us washing this thing isn't going to be that big of a deal because it can go in there and stay warm and dry off. And I will also have to get... Um, get our snow bucket put on the track or the skid steer there too now that we're done with the pallet forks for now Alright, so let's take a look here. Um, let's go down to winter. So let's see. Small. So this one's three meters, and this one is three as well. So this is kind of more configured for our tractor, our larger tractor. Um, let's go ahead and get it in John Deere green. And so 5100, so we're just gonna buy it. Because for that price, we might as well. We'll get uh, hooked onto it here. that up, PTO, and the hydraulic lines, and there we go. So there we have it, folks. That's going to do it for today, and uh, in our video tomorrow, we'll be moving some snow or trucking some grain, one of the two. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and uh, we'll catch you all in the next one.